Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm hanging out with my sister, Mo. Hey, everybody. And we've got some exciting news. If you do not follow her on Instagram, you may not know, but my sister <laughs> is pregnant! Ah! She is pregnant with baby number two. I'm so excited to be an aunt again. Molly actually got the results of the mm -hmm. sex of her baby and handed it over to me and Mike. And we today are gonna be making another gender reveal cake like we did with Mo's first pregnancy. So this time we're gonna be doing the same thing. Mo's gonna help me make the cake, but when it comes to the ice cream, cause this one is going to be an ice cream cake, I'm gonna take over, I'm gonna kick Molly out of the kitchen so that she can't see the color of ice cream that we're putting into the cake. And I know what some of you may be thinking. You may be thinking, but Mo can't have dairy. You know, she's like lactose intolerant. So what's going on today? So and we're gonna be making a vegan cake with vegan ice cream in it. I'm so excited. Oh this recipe is delicious. So it's good. It's like a vanilla almond cake. Mm -hmm. Also stay tuned to the end of this video because we've invited some friends and family over and we're gonna watch Molly cut open the cake with her hubby and baby Grayson. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Let's get this show on the road. Let's make this cake. All right. And let's get ready to party. Let's go, let's okay, go. Okay, ready? Let's, let's get started. This recipe is super yummy, delicious, and I guarantee if you made this for a friend, they wouldn't even know it was vegan. They wouldn't vegan. know. I don't think so. It's so good. We'll be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you want to follow along at home, you can. Now the first step is usually mixing together the dry ingredients. Today's a little bit different because we're making a yummy vegan cake. So the mm -hmm. first thing we have to do is make vegan buttermilk. And to do so, we're going to be taking a little bit of almond milk and you're going to add apple cider vinegar to it. It sounds silly, but it works, all right? Why gonna... does the apple cider smell so good right now? I don't know if it's oh. like... Are you having a weird pregnancy craving? Yeah, or smell that like, hair. Enjoy yourself. It smells so good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Whisk together your almond milk and apple cider vinegar, and then you're just gonna let it sit. It's gonna separate a little bit, and that's okay. That's normal. Just set this off to the side, let it sit, and Mo's gonna mix up the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. All right, for our dry ingredients, we have some flour, sugar, baking soda, salt, and baking powder, and we're mm -hmm. just gonna whisk it up. Do you feel like it's a girl or a boy? A boy or a girl? I've heard what are you feeling? I've heard split What's things. What's your guess? But I'm thinking boy right now because it's a very similar pregnancy to Grayson. I don't have any morning sickness. I'm just a little congested, but it's been pretty easy so far, easy going. You've always had good pregnancies so far. Yeah. You're usually glowing, you're in a good mood. The only kind of odd thing is Molly gets food aversions and then she gets kind of odd cravings. And she also gets bloody noses here and there. That's the one kind of weird thing that happens yeah. to her during pregnancy. All right, this is looking good. And mm -hmm. next, what is next? All right, so we've got our vegan buttermilk that we've made over here. And as you can see, it's starting to separate and that's perfect. That's what you want it to do. It's been sitting here for about 10 minutes. So you're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil and then vanilla and almond extract. Then whisk together. That smells so good. You're gonna love All this. of this smells so good. <laughs> Are you excited? You can eat the whole cake. I might. I'm going to also. Molly, <laughs> cut yourself a big slice today. A nice big slice. If there was one time in your life that you deserve a big slice of yummy vegan cake, it's today. That's gonna happen too. So Molly's wearing blue today, but mm -hmm. also look, she's got pink nails. Just really switching up, we don't know. And then you know me, I'm hoping every baby is a girl. Yes. I love all babies and of <laughs> course I'm gonna love it whether I have a niece or a nephew, but I'm always like, girls, 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 girls. Us growing up, it yeah. was so much fun that I want that again. Okay. You know, I wanna relive all those great memories of that, you know, girl time. Once whisked together, now you're just gonna pour into your dry ingredients. Ready, Molly? Ready. And then, whisk together. You can even do this by hand. I mean, this is almost a dump and stir recipe. It's amazing, simple. I love it. You don't need any fancy equipment. Nope. You don't need anything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see how you're excited. I'm excited. I'm not trying not to think about it because I'll get too excited. excited. You're going to be. 
The batter is looking good. It's perfect. Now we are going to divide it evenly between these two round pans. Now these are both greased and lined. The bottom's lined with a piece of parchment paper so that when you pop your cakes out, it makes it very easy. It's a pro tip. And how many inches are these? These six are six inch, inch pans. Six inch rounds. There All right. Go. And this batter is really runny, so you don't need to use a spatula to flatten it out, and I'm just eyeballing it, trying to get it as good as I can. Gotta get all of this deliciousness in there, no wasting. Molly, this is so nice. I love having someone help me because this is so hard when I'm by myself. Oh, definitely a big old bowl. I do this one-handed hang. I call it the hanger. I just dangle it. That's a move. All right, now you're gonna heat your ovens to 350 and bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes. You just wanna make sure when you put a toothpick in, it comes out clean and you'll know it's ready. All right, pop them in, Molly. And then I'm gonna have to kick you out. All right. <laughs> I'll pull this down for ya. And then just put on the middle shelf would probably be good. All right, let those puppies bake. So while the cakes are baking, I kicked my sister Mo out of the kitchen so that she won't see this part. We're going to be coloring our vegan vanilla ice cream. And this is how she's gonna know baby's sex when she cuts into the cake. It's whatever the ice cream color is. So I just scoop some into a bowl right here. I'm just gonna mix it up in a stand mixer. Using a spatula, I'm just gonna scoop it into this bowl right here. It's nice and frozen. I absolutely love making ice cream cakes, especially when it starts to warm up in California in the spring and summertime. It's like the perfect cake. It's just so yummy. Oh, I just realized we have never made an ice cream cake on the channel before, so this will be the first one. And the process that I'm using is really similar to how I did it in my second cookbook, baking all year round. So I'll show you how to do that if you haven't done it before. Okay, now I have the results right here. I'm gonna take a peek and I'm not gonna show you yet. I have both the colors out because it's gonna be a surprise at the end. I want you guys to be just as surprised as Mo is when she cuts into the cake. But I'm gonna look. No way. <laughs> Mike, I have to hand this off to you right away before I accidentally leave this around the kitchen and Mo picks it up and finds it. She'll kill me. Because it's a surprise, I'm not gonna tell you, but just add two drops of whatever color into the ice cream and then mix it up. Once your ice cream is mixed, you're gonna place it into a cake pan the same size as your cakes. So this is a six inch round and I put some food safe plastic wrap at the bottom. What we're gonna do is pack the ice cream in there get it really nice and flat using an offset spatula and let it freeze. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for a couple hours and just let it set. Once this is frozen, you treat this like a cake layer. So you'll do a cake, ice cream, and then cake. And you just ice the whole cake and then decorate. That's how to make an ice cream cake. It's that easy. No peeking, no peeking, don't look. Mo is back in the kitchen because I have stacked and iced the cake so you cannot see the ice cream color, which is now inside. Oh, I just did a little. And, no, no, no. <laughs> just a good tip. Okay. Once the cakes come out of the oven, give them plenty of time to cool and not just cool, I would suggest popping them in the freezer because mm -hmm. if they're at room temperature and you stack cake, ice cream, cake, that ice cream, I mean, you gotta work quick. The colder, the better. And when the ice cream is sandwiched between two cold frozen cakes, it's almost like the cakes are ice packs. Mm -hmm. And it keeps it colder longer. And your buttercream is at room temperature so you don't have to ice as quickly. So here's the good news. If you freeze your cakes, you have a little bit more time. There's a little bit of grace for decorating, but you still wanna keep a good pace and decorate quickly. So Mo, help me decorate. Okay. We're gonna go as quick as we can. This is my mm -hmm. favorite part, time to decorate. So Molly, I'm gonna have you start with the two scoops on the top. Okay. Because the theme of this reveal is what's the scoop, we're gonna be scooping using an ice cream scoop, and this is just buttercream icing, two scoops on the top to look like two scoops of ice cream. Yeah, do a big generous scoop. It can have a little bit at the bottom and just right at the top, right next to each right. other, right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, give it a look. Perfect. That okay, then good. do one more right here. Okay. Not only is this going to be an ice cream cake, but we're going to decorate it to look like a drip cake with two ice cream cones upside down on the top. I love that. It looks just like ice cream. I know, doesn't oh, it? So look cute. at the texture. Now we're going to decorate the bottom of the cake, create a 
simple, cute little border in a piping bag. I've got some buttercream with a number eight tip at the end. It's a little circle tip. To create a cute little cake border, we're gonna create little balls that connect around the bottom. And then apply some pressure, pull to the side. Pressure to the side. And then you keep doing this all the way around. Okay, now that our cake is decorated, we are gonna pop it in the freezer for about 30 more minutes to mm -hmm. chill. All right, our cake has chilled, and now we're ready to do the drip, but we still have to yeah. work quickly so it doesn't melt. That's right. While Molly was resting a little bit, I whipped up some white chocolate glaze. Mm -hmm. This recipe is from my second cookbook, Baking All Year Round. It's very simple, you just make it over the stove, and technically this is the only part of the cake that is not vegan. The white chocolate does have a little bit of dairy, and because Molly is dairy intolerant and you're not allergic to dairy, mm -hmm. this is okay, and also it's a decoration that's very It's easy, easy to eat around It's too, easy to avoid, so I got mm -hmm. permission from Molly, yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. I got permission, but if you want to be extra safe, I have another recipe using candy melt, but this one is a great drip recipe, so I highly suggest it. It works really well. So on the top, we're gonna start with the drip. Mo, would you like to do the honors? Let's do it. Okay, so over in this piping bag, we have got our white chocolate drip glaze, and I've lightly colored them to be a light pink and a light blue. So Mo, how about you start us off? Okay. Okay, we're just gonna cut a teeny little opening, and if you need it to be bigger, let me know. Okay. Um, Better to just, start smaller and right. make it bigger, because if you do it bigger, you can't go So back. we're gonna do half and half, so half the cake will have a blue drip. You wanna drip first. Mm -hmm. And just start gentle molly right here. Just apply a little bit of pressure and work your way around half of the cake. I'm pretty impressed, Molly Bug. I didn't even show you how to do this. And I've seen you do some other drips, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Once you've got the drips around the side, now we're gonna cover one of the scoops of icing and half of the top of the cake. I like to do this a color at a time and not do a drip all the way around because it dries and sets pretty quickly and we wanna put some sprinkles on the top. Just go for it, Molly, cover that whole scoop. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Now you're gonna fill in the top of the cake without going over the edge. You don't want it to continue to drip and I'm using the spatula to smooth it out and connect the drips and the top of the cake. This was, I was it easier than I thought? Yeah. But Molly, I'm so proud of you. This is like, I don't think you've ever done a drip before. No, this is my first drip. You've just watched me drip drip forever, and now look at you drip dripping. Here we go. While it's still setting, you wanna put some sprinkles on because it will set quickly, okay? Okay, I think that's good. Okay, Molly's really good at this, <laughs> and she really wants to do the other side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let her. I, I was, was kinda, kinda into it, it. it. Felt good, I don't know. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other color. So just do some drips all the way around the side and then we'll cover the top. Molly, seriously, you did an amazing job. I was into that. Mo has never drip before and it looks perfect. You're I a natural drip. dripper, Molly. Thank Good you. job. <laughs> For the final decoration step, we're gonna be placing two delicious ice cream cones right on top. And it's supposed to look like a melted ice cream cone. Are you ready? Okay, I'm nervous. Yeah. Okay, go with me, go with Just me. Like, like that? Yeah. Okay, one, like really two, close. Three. Reveal ice cream cake is all done and it's ready to cut into, but Mo, you gotta wait because I've gotta set up a few more things okay. for your party. So stay tuned, you guys. We're about to cut it open soon. Okay, I gotta pop this in the freezer so it doesn't melt. I don't wanna spoil the surprise. So stay tuned, stay tuned. I gotta move quick, gotta move quick, and don't drop it. Enjoyed it, and Molly, we're so excited for you. 
<laughs> also, a big thank you to Mo for helping me bake today. You did a great job. I think I really found my calling to drip cakes. Molly can really do a good drip. Okay, More drip I'm gonna cakes. be posting all of Mo's social media links. She posts pictures from time to time. <laughs> There's a lot of baby pictures and a lot of pictures of her dog, but mm -hmm. we love them all, so. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Let's have some fun with Molly. Head over to her Instagram account and go comment a bunch of ice cream emojis. Ooh, okay. Isn't yeah. that perfect? I love that. Like an ice cream and a cake. Today's video was very special. I'm really glad we got to share this memory with you all. I love doing these gender reveal cakes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because Molly was such a great help. <laughs> she was so good at this. Click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because we have some very exciting things happening this year awesome. and I don't want you guys to miss anything. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Good job, Molly. <laughs> or up here. Or up here. Or here. Or over here. Or here. <laughs> Did I get it? I, <laughs> I can't tell if that was your nose or. Anyway, bye bye. bye.